Hello, this is Patience. I have come today for us to discuss something very important. The title of this message today is the truth about you that Satan doesn't want you to know. The truth about you that Satan doesn't want you to know. You see that the Bible say in John 8, 37, uh, John 8, 32, it said that you will know the truth and the truth will make you free. The truth you know will make you free. The gospel of Lord Jesus Christ is the gospel of truth, is the gospel of good news, is good news itself, is the gospel of righteousness, that the righteousness of man has been attained by God through the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And through knowledge, according to the word of God, the righteous is delivered. Through knowledge, we are able to know who we are. We are able to know what is that that God himself has done for us. Not just for anybody, but everybody. He has done it for everybody. So today, I want to share with you those truths that are vital to a, 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 a very righteous living, glorious living, victorious living, a living with confidence that you know who you are. Amen? So today, as we uh, 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 look at what those truths are, the devil will not like you to know. Truth number one is this, that you have been uh, 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 forgiven. Your sins have been forgiven. Your sins have been forgiven. Let it sink. The sin of the whole world have been forgiven, not just one person's sin. But the sin of the whole world has been forgiven. The Bible made it clear in John 3, 16. He said, for God so loved the world. He so loved the world that he gave. Only begotten son. That whoever shall believe shall not perish but have eternal life. God so loved the world, the whole world, that he gave his only son. In other words, he sacrificed Jesus Christ for you and I, for the whole world. The sin of the whole world have been paid for. So the truth number one is that your sin has been paid for in full by the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. When Jesus Christ was was crucified on the cross. It was your sin. The sin of the whole world was crucified on the cross. So the whole world has been forgiven of their sin by virtue of the fact that the sin of the whole world has been crucified on the cross. And Jesus Christ said, it is finished. It is finished means the, the, the full price for sin that is dead was paid for. Jesus Christ went not just to the cross, he went to hell. After he was crucified on the cross. So the truth number one, that Jesus Christ has paid him full. The price for your sin has been paid for. You have been forgiven. Everybody in this earth have been forgiven of their sin in Christ Jesus truth number two is that you died with Christ when he died on the cross and you were raised with him when he was raised from death in this I would like to because it's good the word of God is the final habitat it's good to uh, uh, listen to the word, to hear the word of God for yourself. When we read the word, you know that it's not coming from me. So 
let us look at Ephesians. Ephesians 2, verse 4 to 6. It says, But God, who is rich in mercy, because of his great love with which he loved us, when even when we were dead in our sins, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved. And raised us up together and made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. You see, when Jesus Christ died, it was the world that was crucified on the cross. When he went to hell, it was the world that went to hell. Because he took our place, the place of the world. He said, God so loved the world, he gave. He gave his only son as a sacrifice. He made them who knew no sin to be seen for the whole world. That to his death and resurrection, the whole world has been forgiven. The whole world was crucified with Christ on the cross. The whole world went to hell with Christ. The whole world was made alive. When Jesus Christ rose from dead, it was the whole world that rose from dead, a new life. Rose from dead, made a life of God, the eternal life of God. Made a life with the spirit of the living God. Made a life with the righteousness of God. Made righteous and raised from dead. Jesus Christ did not need to die for himself. The death he died was for you and I. The death he died was for the whole world. It doesn't matter where we, uh, uh, what part of the world. He died for the whole world. So the truth number two is that you died with Jesus Christ on the cross. When he was raised from dead, it was you that was raised from dead. That you were raised from dead with eternal life of God. You were raised from dead with the righteousness of God. You were raised from dead in union, he said together, in union with Christ, in oneness with Christ. Amen? So, truth number three is that you have been made righteous by Christ's resurrection as new creation, firstborn from the dead. Yes. When Jesus Christ died, he died as a sinner. He died in place of you and I. And we were in him when he died. The whole world was in him. That was crucified. The sin was crucified. That spirit caused sin was crucified. On the cross and we went to hell with him it was us that went to hell in the eyes of justice in the eyes of God because he made him who knew no sin to be sin he made him to be us so when he was punishing him it was us he was punishing when we he died it was us the whole world was died died he was reconciling the whole world to himself God reconciling the whole world to himself. To the death of Jesus Christ and resurrection of Jesus Christ. So when he rose from death, it was not the sin that died, rose. No. When he rose from death, he was made alive. According to the word of God. He was given the life of God, the eternal life of God. He was made righteous, given the righteousness of God. That righteousness of God is us that was given the righteousness of God. That is why in 1 Corinthians 1, 30, it says that we, that God himself has made Jesus Christ our righteousness. So you have been made righteous. You have been made righteous in Christ Jesus. You have been raised from dead in Christ Jesus. 
You have paid penalty of sin in Christ Jesus. You have went you hell in Christ Jesus because the wages of sin is dead. So all those things have been actualized in your life by the fact that Jesus Christ was a sacrifice God made to himself to fulfill scripture. Amen? So truth number four is that by Jesus Christ's resurrection, you have been delivered from the power of darkness into the kingdom of God. You have been delivered. So that reference, the reference, the Bible reference, is in uh, Colossians 1:13. That he say he he has delivered us from the power of darkness to the kingdom of God. How? When we were sinners, we were under the control of the power of darkness. Now that Jesus Christ rose from death, he rose in righteousness. He rose in the eternal life of God. He rose in holiness. This is who we are. So because he is no longer sin of man, because the sin of man has been sent to hell, because he now is a new creature, a new creation, the firstborn from the, the dead. New means never existed before. It was man being recreated as the righteousness of God in Christ. Recreated as the son of God in Christ. Recreated as the holiness of God in Christ. Recreated with the eternal life of God in Christ. So the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ is our resurrection, the resurrection of the whole world as a new creature in God in Christ. As a new creature in Christ in God. As a new righteous being in God. So that's truth number four. That you are righteous. You have been delivered from a, 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 a power of darkness into the kingdom of God. Yeah, that's the truth number four. Number three is that you have made righteous. Number four is that you have been delivered from the power of darkness into the kingdom of God, into the power of light. Truth number five is that you have been reconciled to God through the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Sin is what separated man from God. Sin separates man from God because God is too holy. He cannot lay his eyes on sin. So God has reconciled the whole world. In, uh, in uh, 2 Corinthians 5, 18 and 19, I read it for you. It says, Now, all things are of God who has reconciled us to himself through Jesus Christ and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. That is, God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not counting their sin. You see, he reconciled the world to himself. He reconciled the world to himself. The world including you. That you have been reconciled to God through death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is the truth. That we are not supposed to be going in condemnation. There's a solution that has been provided for our sin. Truth number six is that you have eternal life of God in Christ. Like I said before, when Jesus rose from dead, it was because he was given eternal life of God that he was able to rise. The life of God is eternal. The life of God has the righteousness of God in it that exalts. So 
because that he died for us because that he died in our place it was us that was in christ the whole world was in christ crucified on the cross the whole world went to hell to fulfill the the, the law and the whole world was raised from death in christ because he did not die for himself it was the whole world so when he raised he was raised from death he was raised with eternal life of god the bible said that he was quickened he was made alive by the spirit of the living god that gave him the life of god and that life of god is the eternal life of god and that life of god is the life you have the life the whole world have but they do not know some do not know they have it because it has to be unlocked by faith to be reality in the life of everybody it has been made available for everybody then truth number seven is that you have been made son of the most high god god has given birth to a new creature in christ which you are christ in us in anyone that believe is the sonship of god sonship of god so we have been made sons of the most high god in christ the whole world have been made the son of god in christ because it was the whole world that was crucified in christ the whole world that went to hell in christ the whole world that was raised from dead together with christ jesus amen and finally you are one spirit with God, with uh, uh, with jesus christ you are one spirit with jesus christ how because remember when he took your position when he took the position of the world world when he was made us as sinners that was the the union where the union started the oneness started so we were in him united he was in us we were in him united and went to cross as one being the whole world when we went to hell with him so when he was raised from dead, we were in him. Created in him. God put it, created a new creature. The workmanship of God, we are created, the whole world has now created in Christ. Amen. So you know, now you will now be asking, okay, if all this, that the whole world have been, uh, uh, the whole world have been reconciled to God. So why is it not working? Well, it's just like a, a woman who is full term, nine months, ready to deliver. That child in the womb of this the lady is in his in her womb. But it's not brought to life on earth. It's not bad to begin to on its own as who the child is the son of the, the 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 mother and father but the child is alive in the womb but the child needs to be birthed on this earth to be able to be reality on a daily physical basis on a day to day the same the whole world has been crucified with christ the whole world was raised with christ the whole world when jesus christ was given a new uh, uh, life give it was the whole world was given a new life so the whole world is in christ like christ is in the uh, 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 the whole world is in christ in the realm of the spirit in the spirit of christ they are there and can only be activated by faith finish what so the whole world 
is already forgiven. No condemnation anymore. The Bible said in uh, John 3 that Jesus Christ said he did not come to condemn the world. But he come, he came to save them. He came to save everybody. It's not the God does not want anybody to die of in sin. That is why he provided the gift of life in Christ, the gift of righteousness in Christ, the gift of eternal life that nobody need to die in sin. And nobody will go to hell because of their sin, because the Bible tells us in Romans 3 that everybody has sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Because the sin is not an action, it's a spirit, it's a nature that we all inherited from the, 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 the uh, disobedience of Adam. So when Adam disobeyed God and took the word of uh, 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 Satan, that was a union she, he formed with Satan. So he became a sinner. That everybody that came to earth after the, the Adam sinned, was conceived in sin, in that nature, in that spirit, wickedness, and birth in sin. So it's not what you did, it's the nature that we carry to come on earth, that, we can, that controls us, that is under the control of Satan. It is the, uh, the, in the kingdom of darkness, we were brought to earth. So that you see that the, the way God looked at man in Genesis and saw that every inclination of man's heart was continually wicked. That is the nature of Satan. But thanks be to God that has provided the way out. Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. That now that Jesus Christ that has died, he died for the whole world. When he rose now a new spirit... The spirit of righteousness, no longer the spirit of sin. He rose in righteousness. The gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ is the gospel of righteousness. It's the gospel of righteousness, no longer sin, sin, sin. It's gospel of righteousness. It's good news. That man has been liberated. Man has been delivered from the of Satan from the control of sin into the control of righteousness in God. Man have been delivered from darkness to light. Man have been delivered from wickedness to goodness in God. We have been delivered from death to life. We have been delivered from sin to righteousness. This is who you are. This is what Satan doesn't want the whole world to know. To go in condemnation, to go in jail, to, to walk about thinking, how can I, I have done too much? How can God forgive me? Yes, it was because of what you did or what you did do, right? Because you were that nature from birth. That is why he died. He did not come to point finger at you. And say you did this, you did that, you did this. It is not in our place. The love is it called for God so loved the world. God so loved the world. He saw you uh, and I were sinner. That is why he so loved the world and demonstrated that love by the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ for you and I. It's a game changer to know that we are righteous in Christ, that we are holy in Christ, that we are sons of God in Christ, that we are reconciled to God in Christ, that we are one in Christ. Remember, in John 15, he said, I am the vine, you are the branch, branches. It was the whole world that is the branches if you read john 15 you see it is there any branch that doesn't bear fruit he will cut away yes everybody's name 
if you read the revelation has been written in the book of life everybody in the world their name is written the only thing that will happen at the last day will be names shall be removed not because they have sinned but because they have refused accepting the gift of life which is christ because once you accept the gift of life with your confession of faith with your mouth and with your heart believing it becomes reality in your life. So it looks so simple but powerful. Because the just shall live by faith, not by works. The just shall live by faith. By faith in Christ. In Romans, Romans 10, 9, it says, if you believe, if you confess with your mouth, the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God raised him from dead, you will be saved. So it's not about we are not righteous or we are not saved because we did something. So I am encouraging the whole world to know there has been provision made. You do not need to go to hell. You do not need to live in condemnation. You do not live to the, the you do not live to no, need to live in guilt. You do not live need to live even in sickness and disease. All of them were part of the full package of salvation, because sin was introduced into man through uh, 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 through the disobedience of Adam, and by sin came death, and by death came the sickness and disease. So by faith, with our good fight of faith, we'll be able to take a stand in what God has already done. Because God has already, God is his word. Amen? So these are truths, reality. The Satan doesn't want us, you, to know that your sin has been made for in full. That you have been made righteous. You are not a sinner. You are not a sinner. No, no. Because at the point of salvation, when you believe, that which God has done through Jesus Christ, there's a tr spiritual transaction. It becomes yours. The old man, the sin nature, now has passed away. That is why it says in Second Corinthians 5, 17, if any man be in Christ, so if any man be created in Christ, he is a new creature. New means you never existed. You have no past. So your sin have been wiped out. God say he will remember it no more. So still not, stop beating yourself up. And when you now believe and receive Jesus Christ in your life, when you make mistake, don't condemn yourself. Jesus Christ is you. Christ, when you believe, confess the Lord Jesus Christ, he comes into your life. Like I was saying in uh, 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 John 15, it was the whole world that is the, the, the uh, branches. So the whole world that is branch. He said, whoever doesn't bear fruit will be cut off and put in fire. That is the hell fire. Who doesn't bear fruit is who doesn't believe, who doesn't accept Jesus Christ into his life is cut off. You see in Revelation, those who refuse Jesus Christ will be removed from the book of life. Everybody's name has been written because Jesus Christ died for everybody. So that is why even in uh, uh, Luke 10, Jesus Christ was saying to the disciple, you should not rejoice because that the, 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 the uh, Satan is subject to you, but rejoice that your name is written. He was even saying it before he died. Your name is written in the book of life. In the so rejoice. Live the life of righteousness because you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. If you are listening to me and you haven't given your life to Christ, this is the opportunity for you to give your life to Christ. 
because the sin has been paid for in full you have been delivered like i said from darkness to light it is the key to unlock it the key to make that child to be born in you is to accept jesus christ as your lord and savior to receive that which has been done for you is a gift god has provided a gift of life for the whole world he has provided gift of righteousness for the whole world that we will not live in condemnation so if you are listening to me and you have not given your life to christ i would like you encourage you to pray this prayer with me a minute with your heart it's by confession and believing in your heart you are saved so say lord jesus come into my heart be my lord and savior i believe that god raised you from death for my righteousness today i declare i'm a son of the most high god holy spirit come and live in me i receive you as my helper from this day forward in jesus name amen congratulations if you look at uh, john 1 12 he says as many as receive him he gave the right to become children of the most high god so you have now become the children part of the family of god you are now your your life eternal life have been activated and made real in your life christ now resides in you christ in you the hope of glory so you are now in union that which i have uh, 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 discussed or mentioned the truths have become reality is now locked because of your faith amen because of your faith and if you read uh, verse 13 of that uh, first uh, john uh, 1 you, you find out how God defined that it is longer born by your parents. It is born, you are born of God. So you are a descent of Christ. You have switched side. You have been delivered from darkness to light, from sickness to health. You have been delivered from the control of Satan to the control of God. The only thing now is for us to renew our mind to renew our mind in the word of god to begin to access our inheritance in christ access that which god has prepared for you because god is a good god he has brought you to this life to enjoy him think about it that he has put himself christ in you to ensure you win all the time in every challenge of life to ensure that you have access to every good thing because he said that those that trust in him will never lack any good thing so your life has taken a new turn a new turn of glory in the name of jesus amen hallelujah 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 so let us pray let us pray with the prayer point is to pray for the whole world that the whole world will come to the true knowledge of the gospel of our lord jesus christ to know that the gift of life has been made available in christ jesus that he is the only way the truth and the life only way to salvation that god will open their eyes the eyes of all across the whole world to know that the veil will be removed every god of this age that is blinding people not to know the truth in the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, that they will be bound. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Father, we just thank you for your word that you brought to us. We thank you for salvation, for your word of truth. We pray for everyone across the whole world 
Lord, as we cover the whole world with the blood of Jesus, it's an evidence, the sacrificial uh, uh, lamb that you have sacrificed your son. You have shedded his blood for the whole world. That through his blood, eh, the sin of the whole world has been forgiven. We plead the blood of Jesus across the whole world and across every individual, the whole world. By the blood of Jesus, we, my God, we remove scales from the eyes of people. We bind the spirit of the God of this age that are blinding people not to know the truth concerning Jesus Christ as the only name that you have brought that true man shall be saved. We bind that spirit in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of confusion, every lying spirit that has come to deceive human beings across the whole world to think there's another way, we bind those spirits in, the, in Jesus' name. We command them to go into the abyss. Father, we plead the blood of Jesus across the whole world. We plead the blood of Jesus and declare light. Let there be light. Let there be light, the light of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ in every heart across the whole world. Let there be light, O oh God, in their hearts. Let there be light in their mind. Let there be light. Let the truth of the gospel penetrate in every heart in the name of Jesus. Father, we release the angels of God to go. My Father, O oh God, we thank you to go and touch lives. Because it's only those that you open their eyes can see. It's only those that you tell the truth can hear. It's only those you tell, my God, you open their heart that can receive. We are asking you, O oh God, as you do not uh, 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 want anybody to die in sin, but all to come to the full knowledge of Christ and receive the abundant life, the righteousness, the eternal life in Christ. Father, we ask you, to touch the lives and bring them in millions into your kingdom in the name of Jesus. The blood, the blood of Jesus, Zekorosotoba, over America, over Asia, over Africa. We plead the blood of Jesus over Europe, Masetoto, Rekaboboko, over the Middle East. We plead the blood of Jesus, Rasatoto, Kabambarakata, Lekosotoba. We break. Satan over lives in the name of Jesus. Kaboko Soto, Le Kakasoto, Resotoba, Banka Sotora, Resotoba, Bakarante Bakata, Resototo, Erakababa, Es Barakatata, Esorakaba, Elakabaga, Memakaburukuto, Esotoba, 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 we tear in pieces every veil that covers anybody's. Over everybody's mind, we tear in pieces in the name of Jesus. Resoto, 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 Kabanka Santorokute, Esoto Kaba, Esoto Baka, Elokoto Baraka, Ekoko Kosoto, Asando Baka, Esoto Toto, Esoto Toto, Esoto Toto, Kabaranka Koto, Esonde, Esonde, Esonde. We overcome, we overcome every force of darkness. Masanka Soto, Makatotora. A cotoba resisting the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, penetrating in the heart of people. Melaka Barakata, Melaka Barakata, Melaka Barakata, Esoto Toto, Esoto Toto, Bacansoto, 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 Resotoba, Becato, 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 Esoto Cabracata, in the name of Jesus. Father, we declare light, light everywhere, light of the gospel, the truth everywhere, the truth of the gospel in every heart. We declare that men and women and children, they are coming in billions into your kingdom because you have ministered. Them. You have ministered truth in their lives in the name of Jesus. Masan de Kaba Kasata, Le Koroko Sotora, Eloko Boroko Barata, Esoto Roka Barakata.
enter. Every lies of the enemy has dispersed in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that your spirit covers the whole life. Father, on earth in the name of Jesus, the truth of the gospel has penetrated every heart in the name of Jesus. We thank you that the truth has made them free in the name of Jesus, free from the lies of the enemy, free from the lies of Satan, free in the name of Jesus. No more condemnation, no more guilt, no more feeling unworthy. Father, because, oh God, you have made everybody worthy before you. You have made made everybody righteous before you. You have made everybody holy before you. You have made everybody with eternal life before you in Christ Jesus. And I says only, O oh God, be a reality by faith in Christ Jesus. We thank you for incredible things you have done in the life of people. Father, thank you, God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen, amen. I bless all of you. All of you watching me and those that will watch me after the, this uh, live program has ended, I release the blessing of God upon your life, upon your home. I decree and declare that revelation of the word of God is increased in your life. The grace of God is increased. The peace of God is increased in the name of Jesus that every day you are moving from glory to glory i declare the protection of god over you over your home over any city any state any country you are in the protection of god is over you and over your family over the city and country in the name of jesus father thank you god be glorified in jesus name amen and amen and amen thank you all God bless you. This is patience. Bye-bye. I love you all.